Federal agents raided four local Mexican restaurants last week. Some of them still shut down tonight. The workers rounded up during those raids are now living on the edge. What does their future hold? Tonight, only on 7, one of those workers is speaking out. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Rizan jo joins us now with that exclusive interview. Josh. Ashley, I spoke with Sergio Medellin today. He's one of the undocumented restaurant workers detained during last week's raids. Right now, he's living at Trinity Church in Buffalo while he waits to learn what might happen to him. Sergio is 19 years old and came to the U.S. legally from Mexico about six months ago on a work visa. But that visa was intended for work in Georgia, not here in Buffalo. Now Sergio and three other workers are set to meet tomorrow with deportation officers at Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Sergio says he'll find out how his case will be handled going forward and should learn if he'll continue to be monitored by ICE or possibly held in detention while his situation is looked at more closely. He's speaking out today to show people what it's like to live as an undocumented worker in the U.S. For immigrants to come out of the shadows, right, uh, to unite, to come together uh, and, and to show that that we are to be treated with, with dignity, with respect, uh, and, and you know, he sees that in the middle of this crisis that there's an opportunity to actually start talking about uh, how do we treat immigrants with, with decency. You know? Sergio also says the immigrant community in Buffalo feels intimidated. Advocates with the Coseca movement are helping support Sergio and say the goal now is to buy him more time. Members of the community are meeting at Trinity Church on Delaware Avenue tomorrow at 9 a.m. They'll walk with Sergio and two other workers to their meetings in the immigration office. Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.